Why is Ms. Miller saying you're not Zaylee's father? Your Honor, I believe it's just out of pure hatred. She just doesn't want me to have visitation. Uh, I drive 100 and about 60 miles every other weekend just to pick up my daughter and drop her off. He loves his daughter, but you don't want him to have the visitation. Is that true? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Rasmussen, you are not the father. Miss <laughs> <Yeah. M> <laughs> Miller. Be respectful. I'm sorry. Miss Miller. I'm sorry. Yes. That's a lot of nerve considering the alternative is somebody that don't want nothing to do with you or your child. You just show me where your priorities were right there. I'm sorry. Because I held out hope that you weren't just acting a fool because you so mad at him because he cheated on you that you would cheat your child out of a father. But that cheering you did, what you cheering? I'm a single mother with nobody that loves me or my child. What you cheering for? Earlier you were saying that you didn't care how much your partner made, right? Huh? You were saying you didn't care how much your partner made? I mean, it doesn't... I don't care about the numbers. I care but if you, you care provide, if everybody, everybody, so, what, so everything what I need. So shouldn't it matter how much he makes if he's trying to provide? Huh? Shouldn't it matter how much he makes if he's trying to provide? No, so I want long? a successful person. So then you it's, care about how much he's about making. It's not about the numbers. It's but about if mentality. You're successful, you care about how Wealth much he's making and here, able to provide. My, it's about mindset. Those two yeah. ideas are contradicting each other right now. What exactly? But you could be with a guy who makes a million dollars a year who spends twelve like yes, one point two mil, yes. or a guy who makes a hundred k a year. Who exactly. Is like great at saving, great th that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but how much do you need him to save? I don't. Yeah. I don't <laughs> want lifestyle. numbers. Why are you so obsessed okay, with the numbers? Rate is a lot of questions right now. A new study says the reason fewer people are getting married is because there's a shortage of, quote, economically attractive men. A study from Cornell University says women aren't getting married because prospective husbands can't provide enough financial security. You're Think about the lifestyle that you want to live when it comes down to vacations and how many kids you want to have. Well, I guess I wouldn't be contributing financially. I don't want any of my income to be needed in the family. 300000 like... I guess if they made less than that, I feel like we wouldn't have the lifestyle I wanted, so I would work. Right. $500,000? <laughs> is that bad? Okay, but what do you think the median income is? $45,000. Oh my god. Men who like to go overseas to find a partner is men who like to prey on vulnerable women. My husband needs to be making $650,000. $650,000? I don't respect her. I guarantee you, she's single. But hey, man, if you like these videos, man, hey, don't forget to bless the cash out for me because you know they be demonetizing a lot of my videos. I don't know why, but if y'all want to, hey, just throw a donation out. Hey, and also I'm finna drop 10 of these hats when I just started the channel. So I want to see if I got 10 true supporters, man. 10 true supporters. This will be the only drop. Only 10 will ever be made with this uh, color and this saying on it. So, hey, if you're going to be one of the supporters, put a one in the comments. When I get enough ones, I'm dropping it for y'all. Hey, 200 family. Let's get into the video, man. And also, if you donate to the cash app, I'm going to put your name on the screen. You feel what I'm saying? As appreciation, you hear me? Let's get into it. Did you have a She's father that, that you respected? Me. I didn't disrespect my father. He wasn't around. <laughs> okay, so that's the thing. So stop it there, right? You didn't yep. even have the prime example of what you needed to carry your love for men in your later ages. Your father wasn't there to instill certain traits in you so you will accept a man's love. God's love comes through the father. I'm not even gonna say that. I comments. I mean, I know y'all come. I know y'all, y'all be mean Ages. in the comments. Your father but wasn't there to instill certain traits in you. I know y'all so be mean in the comments. But I mean, a man's love. God's. I ain't gonna say nothing. Y'all don't be mean in the comments now. She said, "Oh, I don't respect men." But you feel what I'm saying? Don't be mean in the comments. Cause I know how y'all get. Feel me, but. Love keep going. comes through the father. So since you don't really know how to experience and digest the father's love, that means that you don't really know how to experience and take God's love because that's where the love trickles down from, right? The father's love is much differently than the mother's love. The mother's the love is right. more of a coddle love. You fall down, you get back up. Oh, baby, you, it's okay. You fall down, you get back up. Oh, baby, it's okay. To the point when you're falling down so much, the father's like, stop falling. Right. <laughs> what is <laughs> you doing? But out. the father would tell right. you that the first time. 
Why, right? why are you tripping and falling? Get up. Get up. Oh my God. Not, my dad that did that to you. Well, the father's love is a disciplinarian yes. love. God's love is discipline. disciplinary. Think about it. Yeah. God wants you to repent before you go to heaven. That means mm -hmm. that yeah. tell, tell me what you did wrong Every and day. repent your sins right. and then you'll get to the promised mm -hmm. land. But if you don't repent, forget you. You're not going and here. that's that father's uh, love. If you're not changing your behaviors, then hey, get out of here. Now for men and women, if, if we would go back to the foundation, which is God, Jesus Christ, the word, the scripture, things will be a lot better in our life. Once I gave my life to Christ, I gave my life to the word, gave my life to scripture, my relationship and everything got better because us as men, if we don't submit to something greater than us, if we think that we are God, life will not end up, watch this, life will not end up good for a person who thinks he's God, because guess what? God-like problems is going to come your way, and guess what? Only God can handle God-like problems. So if you think you're God, God-like problems is going to come your way that only God can handle. And now you crashing under the pressure because you're not built to take that pressure. That's why God tells us to cast those cares upon him because he is meant to take care of those problems. But hey, I had to give y'all the Bible study, but let's get back into it. Five and 8.5. Probably a 6.5. Oh no, man. Lately, I've been feeling like a four. <laughs> you love yourself a little bit more. Oh, bitch. I'm a 10. Oh, I'm a 10 oh. through and through. Okay. Is that a man? I don't know. I, I, I ain't making fun of nobody. I'm just saying is she might be one of those transitioners. Nothing wrong with that. The fact that she says she's a 10, I don't, nothing wrong with that. I don't do the rating thing. I told y'all that in one of my other videos. I don't do the rating thing. Whatever y'all rate, because some guy probably looking at her and saying he, she a 10. Like, it's, it goes by preference. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I, I don't do the rating thing, but I, I was just trying to see if she was a transitioner. You know what I mean? There you go. And so are all of you. So, 10? And then all the other girls should be tens too. Why can't everyone feel like a ten? Everyone What's has flaws though, so nobody's perfect. Yeah, Pencil I didn't say it was perfect, but we're looking at a number scale now. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. okay, so I feel like it's based on results. Yeah. Results. Yeah. Your results. Outcomes. Well, what's what sort of results? Like, how many people am I fucking? How many guys am I getting to pay for my meals? How, how, many, gu how many guys are you fucking? <gasps> I don't have enough fingers to count. Are you actually? But like, are you? You, and you know what? I believe him. Because y'all boys be smacking them big ones in private. Don't, hey, I done seen it happen too many times. Y'all be, she, hey, you looking at her like, bro, you, she capping. Nah, bro, I done seen some of y'all guys. <laughs> I done caught some of my homies trying to sneak some, some in there that look just like that. So she ain't lying, bro. And she gonna put some, some of y'all boys on blast. You feel me? A couple guys or? Yeah, of course. How much? How much? Alex, Alex. I think right now I'm actively dating and talking to like <laughs> like seven guys, seven, eight. I don't like talk to all of them regularly. I don't see them regularly. Five. She ain't lying. An 8.5. She ain't lying. What is the age range do you think you're attracted to? 35, 45. We don't care what race or is there a particular race? No. We don't care what race. No. So we're going to pick any race. What is the minimum height? Don't lie. For the minimum 510. Minimum, minimum. 510. We're excluding obese men, correct? Let's be honest. God <laughs> wants to date a friend. Minimum income. 100K. So we're talking about a man who is 35 to 45. He's not married. We're excluding anyone under 510. We're excluding obese men. And we're excluding men that make under $100,000 a year. Now, so my question for you is, what percentage of men in the United States do you think that is? Hmm. Small amount. 40%? 40% of men? Yeah. No way. <laughs> it's less than 1% of men. <laughs> so for y'all women who, who looking, instead of building, see y'all women, y'all want some complete. Stop trying to find stuff that's complete. Find something that you can, someone who you can help build with. You feel what I'm saying? You help, yeah, we have to, I'm not gonna talk about it. Let's, let's go to the next one. Okay, I took a risk on washing this just for you and you wanted to know if it shrunk when it's washed and i hope this answers your question no it was already y'all know i'm i'm finna have surgery so i, I it, it's it's small on me but i wanted to fit like this but to answer hey, your i better not say nothing mean on mean about her in the comments 
Cause y'all know y'all, y'all know that y'all a lot of y'all type, and ain't no wrong with that being y'all type. So y'all better not be saying I'm not in the, uh, mean in the comments. Question no. I think men want an emotional outlet when they come home. Do you know what? Today's days, I'm just gonna say. Bro, these she mother... looks like Cardi B. Don't don't she look like Cardi B? Wait, hold up, hold up. He, his bro, mother. she looks like oh. Cardi B. Bro, I ain't lying. Bro. This is the most delusional shit I've ever heard in no. my life. You are describing a child. But if you keep giving me problems, I'll try and fix and fix and fix. Well, the That's first problem is coming home and crying to you in the first fucking place. What the yeah, hell are you going to do about cry, it? Not crying like that, but I mean... An emotional outlet? A man's job is to be the mountain that a woman's emotional waves crash into. If he needs you to be strong enough to go to work the next day, you need to find a new man or find a man in general. That's a but fact. then that leads into toxic masculinity, doesn't it? Cool. So, how about he keeps him to himself and maybe talks to his colleagues at work about fixing the problem not coming home like a little bitch to his wife if he can't make her feel safe truly feel safe you think him coming home and telling you about his problems at work is no, they come to me and tell safe me. and protected he's supposed to be the fucking hero he's supposed to have charge of the situation coming home and crying to you like a little bitch is going to do nothing but dry no, your pussy up no, i'm telling you right now you're no, wrong I think you know, I'm able to it's that. funny that a lot of females say yeah i want you to be able to open up to me as soon as you open up to them they lose interest and they also use that against you. So I wouldn't advise you opening up to your girl. I'm just saying. You as a man, you just got to be that strong tower. Go to God and open up to him. Don't open up to your girl. I'm telling you. Cause these women these days are some evil beings. They get mad that you don't open up to them. As soon as you open up to them, it's just like, what? Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? Women, they, some of these women are some evil beings. I'm telling you. Yeah, Over, okay, like because I, you, you don't you don't said, you don't you don't have the youth and you don't have the purity at 30. It's okay, gone. Okay. So it's you don't have what men value. Okay, as I said, I f first of all, right now at uh, uh, 20 years old, a girl cannot have purity. I ain't really lying, bro. It's some beautiful 30 year olds. I ain't even, bro. It's some beautiful 30 year old, 30 year olds that can pull some young men. I'm talking about 20, 19 year old if they had the chance. I'm telling you, bro. 30, 30 still young, bro. You still in your prime. Look at Gino. She like 50, still beautiful. Tell me, tell me, I'm lying. Look at Alicia Keys, bro. 50, still, still can pull a young man. 100%. Alicia Keys, who else? Uh, there's a lot of them, bro, that can, that's, that's older, but can pull a young man. I'm telling you. So that saying that you 30, nah, bro. 30 still young, but it's still bad and still can bag a young dude. 100%. I'm telling you. I'm pretty sure some, some of y'all agree in the uh, comments. More because they probably lose their virginity when they 12. But let's forget about it. So if that the point, that means that every woman that uh, has child, uh, he had child before or he has relationship, important relationship before, could not have a husband later. And I saw a lot of people that actually had child before and after they get married or whatever. So what do you mean that uh, the man that actually you know, wifey are is a, I don't know, is a bum like a bum? Well, yeah. men don't men don't care about your job. Like you could like you yeah. could do nothing, and like men do not give a shit. We don't care. That she right about that. A man, if we like a woman, you can work at Walmart, wherever. We like you, we love you, we we'll give you the world. Especially if you bring peace. But we don't care about that. Like, because you said earlier, like, I make money, and I'm like, well, not to men, that's like a shoe collection to women. Like, if a guy, if a guy says, if a guy says, oh, I have a cool shoe, shoe collection, we're like, oh, that's cool, but then we keep moving. That's that's how men feel about work. About work. Okay, yeah. So they, they, but, like, they'd prefer a girl that, like, does nothing so she can, like, hang out with them and, like, dote on them. Good. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, as one, as one person can get married unemployed, not two. <laughs> yeah, unless, you know, you, unless you look like Michael B. Jordan or something. <laughs> like, how it's come down to this i don't know why my husband has gotten so spoiled um about me doing literally fucking everything he works he's in the army yeah whatever i'm a stay-at-home mom but i literally take care of everything in this house there's not one he's in the army trust me i'm a military veteran do you understand what that man going through in the army and you just a stay-at-home mom what did you well, I already know she's gonna say some foolishness, but trust me, I get passionate because I know I, I've been on tours, but not to see. I know what it is being like in the military, and I'm pretty sure y'all military people understand it as well. So, well, well let's hear what she's gonna say. Fucking thing that this man takes care of. He barely takes out the goddamn trash when I ask him to. You accent. So after a weekend of doing absolutely yesterday and last night, 
I did a courteous reminder. I said, hey, did you remember to put your clothes in the dryer? He ignored me. I said it again later on that night. Hey, did you throw your clothes in the dryer? He ignored me. And then this morning at around 6.30 in the morning when my baby woke me up, I said, hey, did you remember to put your clothes in the dryer? And he says, I don't know. I don't know. And I said, what the fuck do you mean you don't know? Did you throw it in the dryer or not? And he said, oh, I started it, but I don't know if it dried. I came over to the laundry room, and the clothes were still in the fucking washer. And then in the morning, he restarted. So you know what I did the majority of Mother's Day? I contemplated, why the fuck am I still married? Why? Why am I still married? She's a stay-at-home mom. All right, leave him. Them be the women who get divorced and then cry for their husband back because they get a dose of reality. All you got to do, hey, why, why couldn't you go down there and just put the clothes in the dryer? He's probably tired. He's in the army. Do you understand? He's in the army. You don't have to pay for nothing. All you do is sit home and take care of the kid. That, you could have put the clothes in the dryer. What, is it, what, what else you want him to do? You don't do nothing. You still, well, you take care of the kids. That's cool. But I'm pretty sure he helped too when he get home. But he's in the army. You know what I'm saying? Like he's a fucking toddler because i already have a toddler i don't need a fucking grown-ass toddler why am i still married first off i hope he divorces you because you were on the internet complaining about your husband to strangers speak to your husband speak to close friends you look like an awful wife right now and i mean that wholeheartedly and i don't want people in the comments weaponizing competence you are a stay-at-home mother do the damn but home. a lot of these women are common with a lot of military guys because I'm because a lot of my junior sailors I'll be talking to and they be young and married and they be telling me about their situations with their wives and stuff. And I'm like, I'll be like, bro, you need to leave that. You need to leave that girl because the stuff that these women be doing to these dudes, taking all of their money, doing them, doing them bad. You know what I'm saying? Being a stay at home mom, just like that, but doing them bad. They paying for everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, do not allow that. Do not allow that activity. Because he can be better off without her. He don't need her. You know what I'm saying? But that's wild, man. I am dual military. My partner is gone and I have a two-year-old. I don't have to hire anybody to cook, clean, do the laundry, take care, wipe asses. It is a part of life. And you, you're really gonna say he does absolutely nothing. He does nothing, really. You literally lost the argument at I'm a stay-at-home mother. And I can't wait for all the stay-at-home moms to attack me. It's a job, I'm aware. Also mother, that works. The military is not fun. And then coming home and seeing your partner shit on you on the internet, not fun. You thought this was cute and you thought this was a flex. Go speak to your partner, go to counseling, get it fixed. You sit here and you say you have two toddlers to take care of because you're doing someone's laundry. Guess what? He has another toddler to take care of because he has to pay for all your shit. And you mentioned him going in at 10 a.m. How often does that happen? Seriously. Again, military. You're not going to fool anybody. Grow up. Married? No. Nah. I'm going to say it. A stay at home mom It's easy. It's an easy job. All you gotta do is take care of the kid. The easiest job in the world, take care of the kid. You know what, give me that job and then you gonna work my job. You go on deployments for 10 months. You gonna work my job. You gonna stay on the boat, on, out the sea. No interaction with nothing. Working 24 seven, I get no sleep. I'll take the stay at home bad position. That's the easiest thing ever. Take care of the kid, wipe the kid, butts, put them down. Me, I go, whatever. That's the easiest. I do not come to me with no, this is tough. It's not. It's not. Compare. In that case, like I say, switch roles. Switch roles. Tell her to go be in the army. We'll see how tough it is. You know what I'm saying? So this stuff, this happens because a lot of people allow this behavior. Staying at home mom, being a stay at home mom is not a tough job. It's not. What I do is a tough job. What her husband do is a tough job job what a lot of other people do is a tough job you don't have nothing you don't, you don't you don't have to pay for nothing you don't have to do anything but just take care of the kid that you had that came out of you that you made the decision to have 
Can you name any rights men have today that women don't? Huh? Any rights that men have that women do not? Any rights that men have that women do not? No. No. Ah. So then what laws are feminists fighting for? Shit, that's a good one. Shit, that's a good one. Can you name any right? We got a calculator for this one. Here we go. We're going to tell you how probable it is to find this dream guy. It is based on the U.S. Census Bureau. And this thing is about 99% correct as far as the U.S. population goes. So that uh, measures all men in the United States. What is your dream guy? What age? Yeah. yeah. Uh, probably a little older, like 29, 30. Okay. 24 to 30? No, yeah. Yeah, okay. 20, 20, 20, 24 to 40. It's fine. Okay. Can he be married? No. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I mean, okay, she don't want to share. Exclude married, Chris. <laughs> what color? You got exclude. Uh, any, any. You'll date a white guy? I don't know about white. Why Would you date an Asian either? guy? No. All right. Okay, so guys. really, it's black is what it All is. All right, let me see what help. <laughs> okay, minimum height for you. I like him really tall. All right, six what? Like six five. All right. Yeah, I see. I already knew it. Can he be fat? No. Okay. What's the minimum it's income five. for you? 60K. We in Miami. Oh, 60K, 60K, not bad. Really? 60K? That's like almost yeah. average. Okay. In Miami? Miami? Let's find this guy. Cool. All right. Oh, so the uh, big bag. It that broke. is not accurate. Yeah, it broke. <laughs> Zero it's a, it's Yo, a, this a is warning. the lowest I've ever seen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, Wait. scroll down. That's a fucking Wait. first. Wait. 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 <laughs> warning. <laughs> Tumble the fuck up 10 enough individuals at the selected height. Yo, it's a What the fuck? It's broke. Yo, the sample does not contain enough individuals at the selected height within the specified age range. Yo, they got a red no, no, calculator. No, no, I've never I don't seen a. No. Do it again with six two, Chris. Yes, yes, Wait, let's yes, do it with six two. Yes, six two. Let's do it again with six two. Pull up that calculator again. All right. <laughs> you scored again five cat bags. But, All right, but it's higher than it was before oh, earlier. Yeah, sure. I have one point zero seven percent. I'm gonna find him. Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> do you know math? Zero zero. Hey man, if you want to search for that guy <laughs> and make it a don't find him, but it's, but you're gonna be searching your entire life. <laughs> a probable thing. I think you need to operate more on probables, uh, probabilities versus possibilities. Yes, is it possible to find a guy? Yeah, but less than one percent chance, man. I wouldn't. Unless I'll say lower your standards a bit. You do find this guy, right? <laughs> yeah. So you find the perfect guy, right? Six two, sixty k a year, looking good. After years, African American, Hispanic, whatever. Why is he going to choose you over all the other girls? Oh, we haven't even added the fact that this does not account for if he has game. This does not account for if, if he's good looking. If he's married. I, this I not like a little for... goofy guy. <laughs> this is not a cocky guy. He can okay. be a little goofy. Well, the, the point is, is that this is just like <laughs> basic metrics and it's that bad. We didn't even bring into looks into it. His family, criminal history. He could be bi. His sexuality. You don't know. You don't know. Then again, that might be like 10,000 people. That's so small. <laughs> Like, that's a lot for me to choose. I'm like, okay, 10,000. I'm like, yeah. But why would they hit you up when there's other beautiful women? Somebody gonna hit me back. Yeah, no, no, somebody. No, no, somebody. Smash you, but they will hit it from the well, back. Are they gonna wipe you? That's <laughs> no. because a man hits you up to chill does not mean he, gonna wipe that you he up. wants to wipe you seriously. That's facts. There's a possibility. All I'm, right. I'm gonna just. This is right. pointless. I, I know, I know, I know the calculations, everything, but I'm gonna keep my hopes up. I'm not gonna be like, you know. You so, manifest. Exactly. Yes, you manifest as yeah. we all should. So just like I'm gonna keep my hopes up. up. Yes, I, I will. I will. Just Every like Sarah Fawn Russell, I'm gonna find mine. So. Okay, hold on, hold on. Stop the show real quick. Stop. Stop. What just happened right now? Did y'all see that? <laughs> y'all just see what just happened? Yep. Email him. We showed them the statistical anomaly of what this man is. The chances of actually finding him and her being a tra him taking her seriously and marrying her. And what did she say? It's possible. And all the girls at the table, not all, but a bunch of them, were like, it's okay, girl, manifest it. But y'all lie to each other like no fucking tomorrow. It's true. It's like, comforting. We literally just said, if it's you. Comforting. Just, it's comforting. It's like, comforting. It's comforting for them to lie to each other. They do. Women always do it all the time, bro. <laughs>